just hang out around here again. Try to find more dead duty -ers, if there are any. Yeah, here's another dude here. Uh, where's his primary weapon? Do you not have one? Looks like maybe someone else picked it up before I could get to him. The snorks over here don't have any corpses near them. Is anybody dead out here? Ooh, I hear someone that's downed. And I see... Oh, jeez. Okay, get behind something. Zombies in inbound. And my screen is a bit shaky right now. The zombies are our best bet of the dutiers going down. Except they're all on the other bloody side. Okay, oh, looks like there's another attack coming from this side. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This is not what I bargained for. I just, I want them to fight the dutiers, not me. I'm a coward. Okay, there we go. Let's quick save it here, and... It looks like there aren't that many dutiers left, actually. So we might be able to just, uh... Fight our way out of this situation and get into the bunker. And then stop the zombies from spawning anymore. That guy is not a zombie, I don't think. Yep, he's definitely not a zombie. Okay, that begs the question, where are the zombies? Oh! Oh, jeez! There he flanked me! How did he get there? So many questions left unanswered. Okay, this time we're not going to get flanked by a stupid zombie. There we go. This is... I hear a lot of them, actually. This could be very bad. If this duty fat ass over here would get his ass off the ground and fight, then maybe we could stand a chance here. Oh jeez. Okay, after this horde, I think I'm 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 done with this little tactic here. Oh god. Okay, seriously man, I could use your help here. I could use anyone's help right about now. Jesus. I'm out of bandages too, which is really freaking awful. Okay, we can't take any more bullets here, or we are going to be in a very bad position moving forward. But that looks like it might have been all of them, so let's just take all of this. Never mind, that was definitely not all of them. Shoot. Okay. Got to take these guys out and get into the scientist bunker, so hopefully they can stop spawning. Wow, that was a headshot. Okay, this is turning out to be a bit more than I bargained for initially. This is quite a fight here. Yikes. Okay. We're going to get into the bunker here, and hopefully they stop spawning. At least this is a good position for us to uh, take a bit of a breather. Do you not hear what's going on out there, man? You don't need to be aiming at me. Okay, let's save it from in here. And hopefully all will go as planned. There's a lot of corpses, though. I like that. I hear... An okay, that, that was a close one. If I do say so myself. There is a zombie dude right there. Not anymore, actually. Okay, I think there's someone behind here. Here's something going on. Hello? Okay, that guy should get his ass fighting. I don't know what he's doing there. A zombie with a Groza, that's exactly what I like to see. Okay, PB pistol. Let's get behind this again. <laughs> These duty ears are terrible. They're just. They have no idea what the hell is going on. Okay. 
Seems like there's still quite a few dutiers alive. Jesus! Okay. We are still alive. Which is actually kind of surprising to me. And I hear an M60. And I want an M60. I've already mentioned that, but I want an M60, damn it. Ah! Okay. That was close. And we are actually out of ammo for this, which is terrible. Okay, let's use... I don't know what we're going to use. Let's use this thing, the SCAR M. Yeah, this should uh, help us out. It's a bit more accurate than the AK-74U. It's not nearly as fun to use, though. Okay, where's this... Wow! Bandage, bandage, bandage. Whew. That was way too close for comfort. Okay, I'm really hoping we get a, a shit ton of loot here. Because if not, we're going to be hurting for supplies. Okay, let's, let's just do a perimeter sweep here. Find any zombie corpses we can. Okay, here's another dutier, it looks like. He has been stripped of all his loot. Looks like this guy might have been patrolling here and picking stuff up that should be mine. Uh, MP40. That's okay. I'll take that. Anything we can sell or use is fine by me. We got a UMP45. Another Groza. Looks like we're going to have to go to the trader before we can get the rest of this stuff. Yep. So let's drop one of these UMPs. There we go. Reload our SCAR. So this is what I was talking about. You can get a, a really good amount of supplies just by uh, sort of farming these zombies for loot. There's another dude here with some ammo on him. This guy's invincible, by the way. He's a quest giver, and he does nothing, I don't think. <laughs> it just stands there and does jack shit while you have to fight the zombies. So we are going to want to... Looks like we can't unload this stuff while we're looking in the inventory there. Okay, unload that, unload that. Unload. Gonna get a decent amount of ammo from this. Go back in here, stash away. I'm not gonna sell all this, obviously. I'm just stashing it for now. Stash these detectors. Looks like these weapons were in very good condition, too, so they might even be sellable to uh, the professor down there. Which is definitely good for us, and I am actually going to take the SCAR just as a backup weapon in case we run into anything else while we're doing these, uh, this loot sweep. I am going to stash away all this heavy equipment, though, just so I can pick up as much as possible. And that looks like it's good. Cool. So let's go look for more stuff. Ooh, we got an AS Val. That is really good. Really good. More ammo. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. More exo zombies. What did we pick up there? Just a, another broken AK. The broken stuff is obviously not valuable. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, it's unsellable to pretty much anyone. Unless it's a really kick ass weapon. Like if that Barrett uh, 50 cal sniper was badly damaged, then I wouldn't really care. I would repair it anyways and use it. Because it does a lot of damage, as it should. Here's another dutier. I'm not sure if... Oh, we picked up a weapon here. Another AK. That one's in sellable condition, I think. And what you can't sell to the trader down in the bunker, you can actually sell to the dutier. He has a decent supply of cash on him. So you can give him most of the stuff that you can't sell. Oh, you got another AK, I think. Yep. Just more AK-74 use. Ooh, we got a FAMAS here. That's good. And then another AK, a MAC-10. That is a pretty garbage weapon, but we'll take it anyways. These dutiers, lots of anti-rads, which are going to be very, very useful going into the complex. And beyond. Let's just check the opposite side here, where this anomaly was. I think there were a bunch of... Uh, Oh, wow, gold mine here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try to pick up anything that's scattered around here. More med kits. 
So it looks like we're going to make back what we spent uh, ammo-wise doing this. Just trying to find if there is no any sort of random guns scattered on the ground. Just hold down F and look for them. Hopefully I don't run into any mutants out here. Oh, Ooh, we got an XM8. I love it. Anything else here? Don't see any more zombie corpses. Just uh, mutant corpses. Um, no, it looks like we're good. Yeah, I looted those guys. I'm not sure if I looted these. Nope, looks like I didn't. We got an AN-94. That's an, also a, a very solid weapon. Um, a Remington 870, an AK-47, and another... Wow, this is really good loot. Okay, we're going to have to go back to our stash box and put this away. Sorry for taking so long with this uh, lootage, but, you know, I want to get as much as I possibly can here. Also that weapon, friend. No thanks. Now... This is a, a pretty cool shotgun, too. Oh, we can unload it from here. Okay, let's just unload everything. And we'll sort through this afterwards. That AN-94 might be very, very, very valuable. Quite like it. Xerxes added a sort of double tap uh, fire rate, realistic sort of uh, fire rate for the AN-94. So it's now a burst weapon. But that's fine by me. I like it better that way does a lot of damage very quickly and very accurately. Okay, stash these away. And I think there were a couple more than I may have missed there. And already, look, we got 151 rounds just from that one sweep there. So, again, these guys are looted. I think I missed... Whoops. Got turned around there. Did this guy get... Nope. Missed this guy. And I think that's probably all we're going to find here. Unless there's maybe some zombies over here that we missed. Oh, another duty dude. No weapons though. Oh, missed this guy too. Again, no weapons. Or maybe I just picked them up already. Okay. So I'd say that was possibly the best run I've done so far. I've done this uh, little Yantar zombie thing a couple times. And I've never picked up quite that much loot. So we're going to see what we're going to keep and what we're going to sell. And we're going to have to be strategic with our ammo conservation here. So we're going to want to keep um, weapons of every type of caliber. What am I going to sell, though? First of all, let's just stash away the rest of this ammo. Figure out what we're going to take with us. To the Yantar, not the Yantar, the, uh, the Bunker Trader. So what's in good condition? This I'm going to keep. This, I would like to sell. Not a huge fan of the FAMAS. The AK-47, I'd actually like to keep. That uses the 762 by 39 millimeter ammo type. So, uh, again, broaden our ammo types as much as we can. This I want to keep. The pistol, I'll sell that. The MP40s, I'll sell those. The UMP, sell that thing. I might want to keep the AKM here. Uh, the AS Val, I want to keep that... These two, I don't think are sellable, so I'm not even going to take them on. Well, they might be sellable to the duty guy here. So I'll keep one of them because they do use the 9x39 and they shoot 40 mil grenades, which is also very good. And we already have lots of... Uh, we got the upgraded one here, so let's just take as many of these on as we can carry. Looks like we're still good weight-wise. Yeah, we can still move. So, Zulu here, or... Colonel Sviridov. How much money do you have? You have 25,000. So what can you take? You can take the FAMAS. I'm just going to try and sell him the most broken weapons that I know aren't going to be sellable down at the Scientist Bunker. So these definitely are probably not going to be sellable. Maybe these ones, I'm not sure. But the FAMAS definitely not. So there's 3,600 right there. Not a huge haul, but... Uh, we're going to see what we can sell down oh, no. at the scientists. See if any of this is in good enough condition to be sold by him. Or sold to him. Okay, Professor Michurin. Okay, we can sell the UMP. Uh, you know, I might want to keep that, actually. That uses 45 ACP. And I might want to keep one of the MP40s. 
to try that out. So which one's in It looks like that one on the top's in better condition. And all of these are busted beyond belief. So we'll sell this to him also. Cool, now let's go back to our stash, organize a bit. I just want to keep as many different ammo types uh, available as I can because we are going to be using quite a bit of ammo here. The MAC-10, I might as well show off what some of these weapons look like. This one's had their sights adjusted as well. The MP-40, don't have any ammo on board for it. And then the UMP, again these sights were pretty screwed up. Uh, they're pretty easy to fix though. So UMP uses 45, that might be useful if we have a lot of 45. Yeah, we have a decent amount. So this is just going to go bye-bye. I'm going to have to drop that and possibly this too. Do we have... Yeah, we can use the XM8 for our uh, 5.56 ammo. That looks like it's about the only weapon I can use. I might want to keep the scar in that case then. Okay, stash that. And we're going to want to drop this weapon somewhere where we're not going to actually pick it, accidentally pick it back up again. And then sell all of the AKs to the Zulu looking guy here. I'm just going to call him Zulu because that's exactly what he looks like. Uh, okay, 1500, not bad. And that looks like it's about all we're going to sell. Now the loadout we're going to take on, I didn't pick up that many shotgun shells, which is kind of a shame, but I know where you can get some. So, what are we going to pick up here? Uh, might want to use the AN-94, actually. I really like this gun. And it's also compatible with the GP-25 grenade launcher. I wish I'd got one of those, but... Uh, we got some decent stuff, not going to be complaining. And take on all 200 rounds that I have of 5.56. This is going to be sort of our sniper weapon. And then, what can we take on as a secondary Something close range that uses hopefully a different type of ammo. Might actually want to use the UMP, but it doesn't. Uh, let's see what the uh, the MP40 stacks up like. Uh, nope, doesn't look like that's going to be viable. The Mac 10 is fairly terrible all around. Yeah, we'll just take on the uh, the UMP and uh, lots of 45. Cool. Looks like that's good for uh, getting started here. And I don't have anything else really here other than maybe the detectors. And maybe the uh, the MAG-10. I'll show you what that looks like just to get that over with. And then I will sell it because this thing is a piece of garbage. The recoil is pretty ridiculous too, so let's see if we can sell it to Mr. Zulu here. Okay, yep, we can. So take that from me, and we're going to have to repair this, but hopefully he won't charge too much down at the the bunker, the repair dude. And that's good. Good enough for now. That was very successful. So let's see how much it, how it, well, see how much it costs to repair this A94 with this dude. Repair. That is going to be 2000 That's kind of a bargain. I don't really need to repair the UMP. And then uh, Sakharov here is who he, I, he reminds me of, obviously. Okay, I'm trying to find out how to get to the next location. Well, funnily enough, we currently have a man out in the field working on this right now. The last big emission moved anomalies that made the transition point unusable. So what do you suggest I do now? Go look for our man and find out what he has learned. He's located somewhere in the factory. Ask him if he has had any luck. Okay. And we can also pick up a mission from Mr. Zulu. He's going to send us to kill the controller over by the um, the west side of the hey, factory. Well met. Okay, greetings fighter. You ain't looking too happy. What's that? Or why is that? Stalker, every day we lose guys because of attacks by these monsters. I already want to disappear from here, but we have a contract to fulfill. I wish you knew what was going on. Is there anything I can do to help? Join our ranks. Fight wave after wave of mutants and destroy them. Er, no thanks. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Uh, hold up, chap. Wait a minute. There is one job you could help do for us. You can go and check one place. I'll give you the coordinates. However, there's a strong side field there. I hope you've got protection for it. I'll go check it out. And we might go down to the professor and see if he has a decent helmet that we can pick up because that place is very sort of sigh heavy 
We're going to need some decent protection, and I don't know if I have any side block on me. So, do you have any decent helmets? You have the screen helmet. Um, how much is that? That is 9,600. We can buy it, but I don't know if it's worth it. The gas mask is actually, again, the my, my end game gear ended up being the uh, German suit and the gas mask. And this is actually dirt cheap, so let's pick this up right now, just to get some kind of uh, helmet. There we go, so our side protection is pretty good. Almost full, actually. So we shouldn't really have too much of an issue. We might see how much it costs to get Psy upgraded on this, though. Oh, looks like we can for 200. Yeah, sure. I'd be stupid not to do that. And there we go, full Psy protection. We're going to be fine. Now, let's put the AN-94 on again. Nice scope on this sucker. I'll show you at the two-round burst when we actually come across an enemy to fight. <laughs> 